Hey everyone, Dave McClan for Coach here. Today I'm going to share with you some tips for working out in hotels. These are going to help you stay fit and keep progressing, whether you're on holiday, away from work, or like I've just been in hotel quarantine. Let's get into it. I'm now here in what will become my new filming space, but I've had a pretty good run of hotel workouts having been living out of them for the past five weeks or so. That doesn't mean I know everything about hotel workout hacks though, so I thought it'd be pretty cool to collaborate with one of my clients who spends pretty much every week working away and living out of a hotel. Hi guys, I'm Brennan. I train with Damien for work. I travel a lot and uh, there's not always good workout equipment nearby all the time. So here's a couple tricks that I've figured out. They work great for me and maybe they can work good for you too. Our first tip is take resistance bands. I'll shut up about them now, I promise, but they really are fantastic for when you're traveling because they take up so little space and weight but can give a good deal of resistance. If you haven't already seen my videos on these, go check them out. Next tip is don't forget body weight exercises. You might not be able to get the same level of resistance as you might with weights, but there's all sorts of variations you can do to make these exercises harder. If unweighted squats are too easy, do a split squat or an assisted one-legged squat. If that's still easy, go for a pistol squat. Push-ups can be made easier or harder by changing the angle. And you can even work your biceps by doing chin-ups or what I like to call leg bicep curls. And speaking of chin-ups... Pull-ups are always a challenge to try and do in a hotel room because there's not really much around that can handle your full body weight. And even if there was, there's not anything that's really customizable for those of us that aren't quite strong enough to pull up our entire body weight quite yet. So I get around this by using towels. Tie a knot in the towel and then just drape it over the door. Give her a good shove. Make sure it latches so it doesn't pull out on you while you're in the middle of a pull up or something. And there you go. Put your feet up against the door and squat down like this. Now, you can't cheat and use your legs, but if you just pull up with your arms, it's a pull up. And you can do it with your hands facing towards you this way. Or you can have your hands facing away from you. Either way, you need to. But that could be a great way to do pull ups in a hotel room. You know, mess around with it, try different things. You can experiment a bit. You can even use them for other exercises too, like, like doing a row. Put your feet up against the door, let your body fall back like this, and pull yourself forward. It's basically rowing. Now this really is a great workout tip, because not only is it for when you're staying away, but it can also help if you're still building up the strength for a full pull-up. Now, if you think it's a good idea too, why don't you give Brennan a thumbs up by clicking that like button. Now, cardio. That is obviously also very important for staying fit and healthy. But depending on where you're staying, you might not have many options for getting out and about, or it might just be terrible weather. Well, don't worry, because you can go on a reasonable pace long distance run in your hotel room. Believe it or not, my wife actually did multiple 5k runs in our room whilst we were in quarantine. You definitely struggle in a tiny room, but if you've got a few meters you can weave in between your furniture, then it's definitely possible. If you don't have that much room though, steady state cardio isn't your only option. You can also go for a HIIT workout. Simply pick some high intensity exercises like star jumps, knee high running, jumping lunges, mountain climbers or gorillas, and go all out for 20 seconds. Rest for anywhere between 10 seconds and two minutes depending on your fitness, and keep going for at least eight rounds. Whilst you're doing all of these other exercises, don't forget that for the most part, your core only needs the floor. You can do crunches, pelvis lifts, and twisting side planks to target the different abdominal muscles, or even sliding tucks to work all of these at once. Just make sure you tuck that pelvis forwards as you come up and twist as you slide back. Now for our lower back, we can do supermen, but they're not the best exercise because we don't get a full range of motion. 
back raises are always tough to do in a hotel room too, but any hotel, good hotel, should have a luggage rack for you. So just get a pillow on it and you're good to go. Lastly, don't forget your recovery and nutrition. You might be out there living the high life or maybe just grabbing some meals on the go, but sleep and food are just as important as the exercises that you're doing. Without these, you aren't going to see the full benefits of all that hard work that you're putting in. This is something that Brennan really struggled with working away all the time, but by being mindful of the need to rest more and by tracking what he's eating, he's really been able to see some great in this area. Now I'm going to be doing a full video on nutrition in the future so if you do want to see that make sure you hit that subscribe button and of course give that like button a good hard Marbu punch. For now you can check out this playlist here on healthy eating and I shall see you in the next one. Cheers.